Hello YouTube, what's going on? This is Dombey Blue and this is going to be another Black Ops video. This is a stadium headquarters uh, using the MPL with Scavenger, Sleight of Hand and Tactical Mask Pro. And uh, I know that posting a lot of headquarters games like I have may be a little bit boring, but that's just, these are, this is the game type I find fun. Uh, I used to like Domination and uh, I used to play a lot of TD Team Deathmatch. I have 87,000 kills on Xbox and 39,000 kills in Team Deathmatch, but uh, that became very frustrating very quickly uh, as soon as ghosts started becoming as prevalent as it did. So objective games become more, more my thing because less pe there was uh, less ghost. Even though the guest can, the ghost can actually be more annoying when there's an objective involved. But anyway, we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare three, and with Modern Warfare three so close, it's hard to not talk about Modern Warfare three. And uh, I'm sure you guys have recently seen the new trailer released for the um, support kill streaks. And I'm going to discuss what package I'm going to be using, what package you should expect to see on this channel, and uh, my opinions on this trailer-esque video that was uploaded. I'm going to be using the um, support package, which basically allows you to not have your killstreak reset after you die. So you can get five kills, maybe you're one off that, uh, maybe you're one off that attack helicopter or something, and you're like. Well, in this situation, there wouldn't be an attack helicopter. Maybe a one off that UAV somehow, even though it's uh, probably only going to be a three kill streak. So, say so you've got five kills, you one off that UAV and you die. But with the support um, package, it doesn't matter because your kill streaks do not reset. So, you just get one more kill after you died, and you'll have your UAV <laughs> at six kills because I just made that up. So, this is really good. It also means that the Juggernaut suit, which is in the support class, I believe, is actually more achievable. I thought originally there was an 18 kill streak, and that when I first heard that you had a thousand points of health, it doesn't come back, you have a riot shield, and you're always on the radar, that that would be not very good. And I, I wouldn't want this. You know, maybe I could cap a flag with it. Maybe I could, you know, maybe I could act as a massive distraction, help my team, but this isn't worth 18 kills. An 18 kill streak, sorry. But this is actually probably going to be a good kill streak because you don't need an 18 kill streak. You need 18 kills, and it's not 18 kills. It's 18 points. So you can cap flags, get your points, and you, with hardline you can throw stuns and get points. And your and your it will it won't reset. It, this is going to mean that kill whores can also play the objective. It will really benefit your team by absolutely slaying them, and dying won't matter. Just slaying them, so you got maybe you could have 20 deaths. But if you got 80 kills with your 20 deaths, and you've called in three three juggernaut suits, <clears throat> that will still be a positive thing. So this is why I'm going to be using the support kill streaks. The support kill streaks do not have stuff like helicopters and um, 1830s and, and such. It will have stuff like the advanced UAV, the UAV, the um, the juggernaut suit. I believe is in this in this uh, thing because it's supposed to be helping your team, you know, rather than killing them. The uh, other thing you saw in the video is are uh, the perks, kill streaks, and uh, or point streaks. I've got to stop calling them kill streaks, point streaks. And basically, you start with your three perks, and on the fourth um, kill, you get another perk, and on the sixth, you get another perk, and on the eighth, you get a final perk. So overall, you have six perks. And in the trailer, they were telling, uh, they were informing you on how you can be invincible. And your your soul you're building up your soldier, and your soldier's gonna be raping shit up all fucking day. And this isn't the case at all. At what point, if you thought, oh, if I had sleight of hand and scavenger and hack mask and hacker, then no one would be able to kill me. And then, if I got hardened, then I would even be I'd be more invincible. No, of course not. You're still gonna get them bullshit deaths where you get shot in the back. And unless my three add-on perks are Assassin, Blind Eye, and Quick Draw, when I've already got my flak jacket, my sleight of hand, and my dead silence, then I'm going to be fucking shit up, because they're not going to know where I am, they're not going to be able to grenade me. Then I can see it being a little bit more of a pad, but I don't want three perks. They made it sound like you get more health. They were like, oh, all this mess, but you're not going to get more health at all. Your character's going to be exactly the same as the person you're fighting. It's going to be who gets the first shot. It doesn't matter how many perks you have. You could give, you could give um, Ken Burton every perk in the fucking game when he's playing. He's still going to be less than a one KD because he's a bad player. That is, this is not going to help anyone. And um, 
in terms of what kill streaks you're going to be expected to see from certain players, you're going to expect to see. I don't know who's going to use the perk streaks. I really don't. But the good players are going to try and kill whore. But they're going to be disappointed when they find out that. Well, in my opinion, this isn't going to be the most effective strategy. The most effective strategy is going to be the middle of the road guy who puts on the support kill streaks and tries to help his team. He's going to benefit most because if if you have a few guys on your team using that advanced UAV, and uh, which I hope combats assassin. I'm not sure if it actually does, but um, I hope it's more of a black, you know, a black uh, blackbird esque thing. Then you could you could be rolling in kills by using the support kill streaks. Recently, YouTube added a reaction icon or option at the bottom of everyone's video, and I was wondering what benefit this has if they get the incredible or whatever option. What does that actually lead it to? It is it a new category? Is it gonna be bumping my video up? Because if my video got a thousand likes, that's gonna make my video get more likes because it's gonna get seen by other people. Do these re do these reactions have the same type of of sway in terms of how many views and how much attention your video is gonna get? Or is it just a case of you'll be able to see what people think of your video and it saves people having to write comments? Uh, it could be a time saver for people who watch a lot of videos. But I'd really like to have confirmation of that from someone. If you actually know, can you please tell me in the comments? And, and uh, just in case you weren't aware of it and now you've only just found out from me that it does exist, do actually uh, give me a reaction. If you give me the incredible one, that would be awesome. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter then. There aren't any negative ones. And... Um, I'd just like to add the importance of liking the video. If you do enjoy this video, um, please do give a like and a favorite and hit that share button. That share button basically means that you can link your a Facebook account Twitter, to your YouTube. And so if you do enjoy this video and um, you would like it to see, and see it get more, some re more recognition, more views, do click that share button, share it with your Facebook friends and um, maybe they'd enjoy it as well. That's basically uh, what the icons at the bottom can do it's the share favorite like and now reactions which i i need to research what they actually do because i'm not sure anyway guys the final score to this game was 54 to 4 it could have been a little bit more if the game would have lasted longer we actually managed to win this one in about nine minutes because i had uh, another set of chopper gunner and dogs to call in but then the game ended so it could have been a little bit better but anyway guys um i'll see you later peace